the first time in three years we are at the iconic Old Trafford in Manchester, the home of Manchester United, the original Soccer Aid, stepping out on their latest adventure. He said he's never doing it ever again, but here he is. Bobby Williams and Harry Redknapp, Vicky McClure back after last year. Soccer Aid is next. The playoff success, Maisie Adam, who got married yesterday, has just given the ball away. Here he and comes. Here's Liam Payne, a chance for him early on. Well, he did catch it, but it wasn't enough to beat Ben Foster. Yeah, Noah Beck gave the World Eleven the lead in the first half before a goal either side of half-time, but England 2-1 up. This is Totti, and this is Crespo, and David James is equal to it. Totti, Crespo, James. That's a lovely touch by Usain. You ain't going to add on Usain right. Bolt, and here he is. Usain Bolt versus Gary Neville. And it's Usain Bolt off the post. 750 pounds for, for UNICEF during that show. Well, I say we, Brian McFadden and Maisie raised 11 grand of it. Sam, you were there and that's all that matters. That's about it, I'm afraid. Here's Bolt, oh. he was definitely there, and Bugsy Malone went through him. Play on, says the referee is playing the advantage. Darren Fletcher has helped it, and this is Maisie Adam. Oh my God. So close. What a wedding gift that would have been. There we go. Gary Neville. Making Neville. Sure everybody knows he's still there. Neville introducing the boys to uh, Old Trafford. It's uh, Pochettino, who was snapped up by Soccer 8 well before he was appointed as the Chelsea. Jill Scott. Outnumbered down the left. Jill who won the European Championship for the Lionesses. <gasps> the end of last year, that was a mistake by Everett, and now Jermaine Defoe is onto it, and this is Liam Payne trying to poke it through. The venom in the shot just was... I'll tell you what, I was at the gym this morning, next to Mo Farah running a 5k. Pulls out for after this. Here's Bolt, released against David James, slips it past David James, and scores at Old Trafford. The first goal of Soccer A 2023 goes to Usain Bolt, the world's fastest man, a Manchester United fan desperate to score here at Old Trafford, and he has done just that. And it was cool as you like. The trademark celebration, joined by a Manchester United legend, and the World Eleven in front. He's on site. Bugsy pulls up, I think it's his hamstring, and he just slots it past David James. That's a, such a calm finish through the legs of David James. And the world's fastest man has got a goal at Soccer Aid. England, Jack Will should have taken it. Bugsy Malone has been replaced by Sir Mo Farah. And there's quite a few to aim at for Jack Wilshire, who curls it towards Jill Scott. The headers from Gary Cahill. And it's a good claim by Ben Foster. Up like a salmon Cahill there but into the arms of Carney and Wilshire doing their best to try and get the better of him. Wilshire seems to have hurt himself in the process. Getting back to his feet again now, Jack Wilshire. That's a great ball by Tossi. Beck, Nanny. It's still Nanny. Testing nice. David James, who makes a decent stop. Hilston. Oh, can we get that before Gilligan? Mo Gilligan, that's his one run for the game used up. Desperate to make an impression. That's the kick in. Try telling Mo Gilligan that. Look at this. So, Samo with a little trick to take him past Totti. They're all at it. Oh, he's still going. He'll outrun you. So Jermaine Defoe did brilliantly. did mention to a couple of the England boys earlier on today that Fletcher was going to be a thorn in their side. Yeah. That man can run and run and run. His fitness levels are incredible. Everett leaving it for Tossi. He's going to hit it, you know. Takes a deflection and almost wrong-footed David James. 
and Totty bangs it. Takes a big deflection, but David James corrects himself just in time to. Test Edwards early. And Kearney on to Grennan. And oh, Karen Carney yeah. has been knocked to the floor just outside the penalty area. And Karen Carney has won a free kick for England in dangerous range. That was clumsy by Claflin there, just leaves his leg in. To soccer aid, but it's Wilshere who's going to strike it and miss the target. And Chunks is looking at him like, I would have buried that. Skulls. Now Wilshire, England got a lot of people committed towards the edge of the penalty area. And this is Butterfield! Oh, Sliced it! But scored it! Asa Butterfield off the bench! England off the score sheet! And look at what it means! We said when the other goalkeepers went in, this game was loosen up. And Asa, that must be his first touch of the game. He's stitched Leon up a kipper. The keeper thought it was a cross. I think Asa thought it was a cross as well, but Skulls whips it out wide. It gets knocked through to Asa here. Looks like he lines up the cross, but it slices past a devastated Leon Edwards into the back of the net. It's one all. Asa Butterfield. Will she get it away? No likey, no scoring. What a ball that could be from Wilshire. Grennan. He's still going. Grennan. Lovely ball. Hiddleston coming. It comes back to Skulls. It's in. down at the break, Paul Scholes scores at Soccer Aid, and Harry Redknapp, Stormzy and Cove turned it around. The play starts with this brilliant ball by Tom Gren, and Leon does brilliantly to knock it out, but it's not far enough, and Paul Scholes does what Paul Scholes does best, and it's a lovely strike on the outside of his foot into the back of the net, and England, out of nowhere, are 2-1 up. What a match, what a match. Look at that, there's life in the old dog yet. A goal for Paul Scholes. The one he just had a few moments ago. Here's Everett, back to Robbie Keane. It's Keane. Oh, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. It's the full force of Robbie Keane. And the World Eleven are level. The Irishman does it again. He scored an absolute screamer a few years ago, and that is lovely as well. Brilliantly won by Evra. He squares it off to Kino, and he's got one thing on his mind, and that is postage stamp. Top bins from Robbie Keane. That is some hit. Martin Compson. Oh, yeah, he's a, he's a great trainer. Carney. He keeps himself very fit since retiring. Aluko. Trying to find Grennan. She might just have done it, you know. Edwards came out very quickly. Great bit of goalkeeping that. Confident. Down at Tom's feet. So extra work for Jermaine Defoe. A double shift. Great ball. Headed away by Cahill, comes back to Evra. Cleared away by Cahill again. One tactic. Brilliantly by Robbie Keane again. And they're back in front. The World 11's latest goal comes from that man again. I was talking about a Defoe hat trick, but maybe it's a keen one. It's a lovely delivery. Noah Beck gets absolutely leveled by Hiddleston. And then it's a beautiful little dink by the Irishman there. What a finish. 
And he is one that embraces Soccer A to the fullest, Robbie Keane. He absolutely loves being involved in it every single year. And it marks celebration from was, Robbie Keane. I was about to say it was lovely to see the little forward rule. Oh, oh chucked with a back header, which is stopped by Edwards. Just about. Look at this. Chuck sees that near post, throws his head at it, and it's lightning quick reactions from Ed. Stop that from going in. Beautiful stuff. The best touch, and now, after it running loose, Kemi's away. He's got five on his mind. This to finish it. It's Kem for the record. And Kem, most likely for the win. The player that has scored the most goals at Soccer Aid is Kem Setanay. It's five for the Love Island man. Kem Setanay is the new Soccer Aid highest goal scorer, and he will be delighted with that. That man is Soccer Aid through and through. What, what a performance today as well, and what a lovely taking goal. He goes past Dutch legend Clarence Seydorf. That is some company to keep in and the first place, like and this is some finish, some run. It's a slightly loose pass by Mo Farah, but Ken just out, outruns Mo, which is something you don't hear every day, and he looks up, sees the space, and just slots it past Paddy McGuinness. Ken Setanay and Soccer Aid. But I'll tell you what he wants, what he really, really wants, and that is victory here. Scarlett Douglas coming on to replace Alex Brooker. He is one hell of a fella. Cuddle from the gaffer. It's done. The World Eleven are owning Soccer A right now. For the fifth year in a row, England are beaten. And it's the World Eleven who are celebrating, led by Maurizio Pont. It is the World Eleven who are Soccer A champions once again for a fifth time. 2018. Even when the odds have looked against them, they've united to come over the might of England and they're loving it. England licking their wounds, but every time they meet right now. Thank you so much for helping to raise an incredible amount of money for Children's Night. Robbie, where are you? Please do the honours, reveal the total. I'm very proud to say it's 14 million six hundred and ninety thousand no and five way. pounds. Absolutely incredible. Thank you everybody, God bless you all, that's amazing. You. Great stuff, thank you so much uh, to the players, the managers, the coaching teams and of course our guests. Yeah, thank you so much and you can keep donating until midday on Tuesday the 11th of July 2023. And just a reminder, 100% of your donations will go to UNICEF and will make a difference to children's lives.